Hello guys, my name is Ronaldo from 2G Studio. This time I want to review some new feature about Vira RC in Vira 3.0. Also want to show some advantage using Vira RT to speed up the workflow in our scene. As the primary graphic card, I use my old GTX 560 and for the secondary graphic card, I use my Titan, which is having a, a lot of CUDA cores and having a 6GB of RAM, which is give us uh, a lot of freedom to do the RT test. Also, if you have more graphic card, you also can use it for the RT rendering. And Fury definitely give you the option to use all the graphic card. First, we will need to select the our graphic card. Okay. Select OpenCL device, and Fire will detect all the graphic card in your workstation. Which is I only enable the Titan. I will press this one. Okay, it's set. You might want to install the GPU set to check the status of your graphic card you can see this is the GTX 560 and this one is the Titan which is the memory is still very low usage here okay video RT is on the production rendering setting I will turn off the free frame buffer and you can check to on the global switches there's a maximum ray intensity which is it will help you to reduce the fireflies effect when you're doing the RT rendering I also activate some of the render element here which is this is the new feature of the free RT in free 3 Okay, let's go to active shape mode. Okay, this is the properties of the VRT. I will leave the trace depth and the GI depth as it is, and you can also use the override material as in the production rendering. Also, when you use the CPU rendering, you can use the distributed rendering as the production rendering you can set the maximum render time uh, like uh, 30 minutes or 15 minutes depend on your needs or you want or you can set it to zero so it will keep rendering until the result uh, clean and the other option is to use the maximum path per pixel you can define the amount here and it will stop at the amount that you define when you put like this one the this one is like 30 and this one max render time is 5 the RT will stop rendering until it reaches one of this condition and if you want to use the NVIDIA you can use the CUDA core and if you use the ATI you can use the OpenCL here I will select the CUDA and the ray bundle size and ray per pixel it will give the result smooth at the first time rendering okay and here about the resize texture for GPU I will explain it later on and here I activate the very proxy option here and let's do some tests okay <coughs> here you can having 
live update when you change the sun direction like this one see so it's it will help us a lot to test the lighting without waiting so waiting the <coughs> irradiant map and the light cast calculation you you also can test the turbidity like this you can test okay, like this one you can see also the soft shadow here this is the show statistic option will show here it reads 32 pad per pixel in nine seconds let's see if i change this to zero and it will keep rendering so it's getting cleaner and by the way you also can <coughs> do some draw region here like this one so it will render at the region that you set you also can do real zoom here Oops. so you can zoom only on your region part like this okay it's very very convenient by the way to disable the region you can double click and on any of your image and it will disable the region let's turn off the override material here you can check this the status of your RT calculation here which is it will load all the bitmap required for this scene and it will take some time because this scene is pretty pretty big and having a lot of object and map okay here the result when I turn off the override material you can see all the material here it will automatically update the bitmap here this auto update for the bitmap only happen if you activate the auto update bitmaps here this is the texture shown on the VRT when we set the GPU texture size to 512 I will close this one and let's change to 64 and try to render it again okay the texture is look very very blue like this one so I think it's better to set the GPA texture size to leave it as 512 Okay, I will try to test the video proxy here. I will unhide the pine tree and let's do the rendering. Okay, here you can see the tree. So first we need to go to production render mode and change the sign rendering the for the production I will change to VRT see you can see the render element here 
not as a, in active shades in active shades you won't you won't see any render element like this one okay and I will change this to QDR I will leave it as it is uh, here uh, now you can enable the free frame buffer okay let's select this and let's do the rendering okay so this is the final rendering uh, using the RT which is I set the maximum path per pixel to at 200 here you can see the render element this is the alpha GI fear lighting reflection uh, reflection filter refraction and refraction filter which is this render element you cannot have it uh, on the previous video 2.4 for the RT okay guys so thank you for watching and have a nice day